I'm Chanel. And we have subscribed to Japan Crate and we want to share Japan Crate with everyone. We so, do. Well, I mean, not literally because you guys can't eat it, but that's a good thing. Yeah, so we're going to open this up. Whoa, that's a cool knife. I know, right? I've, she does it like that every time she pulls it out. Okay, so <laughs> let's get into this thing, okay? So first of all, I'm going to butcher all the Japanese. Oh, don't do that. I'll have to. You're learning. She's learning Japanese, so maybe I you am. should pronounce it. I am. Okay. So that means what's up? We're um we're gonna go through each and every one of these items. So first and foremost, the first thing that pops out are these Cheetos. Koyashu soy sauce means soy sauce Cheetos. No, I don't think so. Does it? Yeah, dude. It's just it's just it soy says, sauce Cheetos. That's it so says, boring. Japan Southern Island produces a variety of soy sauce sweeter, sweeter than, than normal soy than sauce. normal soy sauce. So mm. it's like sweet soy sauce. Cheetos. It's sweet and salty. Open that bag. All right, let's pop these puppies open with my knife. We don't need kids. You don't need a knife to open up a bag but of chips. Look how easy that was to open. Oh god, we're supposed to be family friendly. taste that out. Look like normal Cheetos. I mean, oh, you know. Mmm. Mmm. They taste like, they taste like when you get, um, what is it called? <laughs> when you get like fried food at a Japanese restaurant. Mm. What is that called? Umami. No! The fried food, like <laughs> shrimp blank and vegetable blank oh my god panko mm. tempura it tastes just like the like baked part of tempura with like the tempura sauce that comes with it because mm. it's like a sweet soy sauce that's exactly what it tastes like okay so these are a hit they're good <laughs> avi i like them me too all right next Ooh, mayonnaise. What? Uma common. Uma common mayonnaise. That's what this is. Oh. It's interesting. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I got a bust of a mayonnaise bust. at the bust. end. Now, this is interesting. It's the Calpee um, white peach drink, which I literally just got one of these at the Asian market that we go to. Remember? Yes. I haven't tried it yet. And she said Calpee, not cow. Cow pee. So the interesting thing, first of all, color. The Japanese one is way more yellow. Isn't that weird? Yeah. But the interesting thing about cow pee is that it's in Japan, um, it's just cow pee. It's C-A-L-P-I-S, but it sounded too much like cow pee in the United States, so they changed it to cow pico. So <laughs> Fucking it, Americans! Because they won't get confused, but... It, I've had it many times. It's very good. It's like a yogurt soft drink. It's not effervescent or anything. No. Um, so if you're like, if you're thinking, oh man, I really like Ramune. I might like that. No, you may not. It says, Calpi tastes like nothing else. Feel refreshed anytime, anywhere. But I think we should, I don't want to drink it warm. No, no, we're, we're not going to do this one for this video. We'll probably. Well, let's try this one. I'm okay. Sure it'll be that's similar. fine. That's fine. We'll do like. A drink from the last crate every next video because mm. they're not cold. That's good. I like Calpi. Yeah, we've had Calpi before and it just is peach flavored. It's good. Really good. All right, so the next <laughs> snack is Bon Chiaji, maybe. Bon Chiaji. Excuse me? That? Bon Chinje. No. Oh. <laughs> I, Ash, like, Ashi Daji, they, the A-G-E is, like, Aji, so I'm pretty sure it's Bon Chi Aji. Bon Chi, okay. Um, it's another soy sauce flavored. Yes! Rice, rice cake. It's a rice cracker. Rice cracker with Please stop flavor. opening chips with your knife. How else am I supposed to open them? Like how everyone else opens chips without knives. I don't, it's not, it's not effective, efficient, you know? These are interesting. Yeah, they look really interesting. Mm. 
Mm. Tastes like a rice cake with soy sauce on it. Much better than the Quaker rice cakes. I got to say. Oh, yeah. I mean, those are like pieces of rice mushed together. This is like flour, mm. rice flour. Oh, yeah, now, this good. is something that looks exciting. Fruit and vegetable shop Candy. Candy. Oh, this is the do Candy it yourself. making kit. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> All right. So these are, I know these are super popular in Japan. They're just like rice. To, I think they're made out of rice. Mm. Oh, God. Puff corn. It's corn. Shrimp mayonnaise. It's shrimp mayonnaise, which is very oh. popular. Very popular oh. in Japan. I'm excited to try this. Um, but it's like it's like a giant Cheeto, essentially. But they have these in like all different types of flavors. Y'all, it's shrimp and mayonnaise. Yes. But this is very popular. Shrimp mayonnaise is also very popular in Japan. So. Yeah, that's the same thing that Lady said about the Grand Slam, which... <laughs> Okay. All right. So, are you scared of this one? You, I know you don't like creamy things with your seafood. You just you taste it and you tell me what you think. Ooh, it smells very shrimpy. Mm hmm. You actually like it. It tastes like it's not that bad. It tastes like shrimp and yum yum sauce or white sauce or whatever they call it. You know. tastes just like shrimp and yum yums, which is basically just mayonnaise. You don't like it? All right, moving on. <laughs> so the next thing is diamond ring pop. What? So it's basically just a Japanese ring pop. Bring back the 90s with the Japanese version of the <laughs> ring pop. Their retro and fun design are perfect for get togethers with friends. But they only, <laughs> only give you one though, so. <laughs> ring pops back in the 90s and sit around with a group of friends no the I mean, funny thing is like since they only give you one what you have to do is just be like hey ladies come hang out with me and admire my beautiful ring pop <laughs> isn't it beautiful just like sit around with your friends and they can admire your ring pop that's what you're supposed to do oh that's no fun yeah it's strawberry flavored it's a ring pop all right next let's go for this guy matcha See, this is the popular pie no me snacks are back with a new flavor. They're bite-sized pies that have a golden brown top and lots of flaky layers, making them crispy and yummy. The filling for these is flavored with one of the best green teas from Kyoto. Why are they trying to tell us that we have to enjoy these with picnics? Like, everything is like, this would be fun like, on a picnic. In certain situations, like, who's trying to do all that? Trying to eat this stuff with a whole bunch a of people. Picnic. That's what we should do next time. Just invite a whole bunch of people to go. Hell no. Then they get to have some of this. That's true. I would have bit somebody's extra hand off if they touched my barbecue Cheeto. Extra hand? So they have, like, a food. No, it's me eating them. You can eat them. But if anybody else, that's an extra <laughs> hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> get their hand jumped off. This is the weirdest, like, snack dessert I've ever had in my life. It's kind of good. It's good, but I don't know how it to just feel tastes about like, it. It tastes like flaky, it's, crispy, flaky crust. <laughs> it tastes like a pie crust with a little bit of matcha in the middle. That's literally... It's, like, savory but sweet. It does have, like, a little bit of a seaweed taste to it, mm -hmm. I feel like. I don't know. Kind of interesting. I'm trying to get this ring pop off. It's annoying me. Oh, let's try this. Bono Bon Creamy Cream. <laughs> we go together like peanut butter and chocolate. Ooh, yes. Has a layer of a wafer cookie, mm. peanut butter, and chocolate on the outside, I'm assuming. Mm. If I can get this thing open. I know, you're taking a while. Listen, I'm doing my best. Right, I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, so it looks like a buckeye, if you guys are familiar with a buckeye. It looks like a buckeye with like wafer around the peanut butter. Oh man, I am this excited about this. Thank you. That's a winner. 
That was super good. Mm. I wish we could rewind this video and then we would have another one sitting in front of us because we rewind time. Oh, that's how good this is, y'all. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? All right, next is Melon Pandero. Oh, no. His ear is broken off. Oh, that's sad. We want a refund. I'm, I'm on skin. Japan Crate. So, yeah, it's just a little panda-shaped cookie. He's and injured. his ear is missing. So just pretend like it's there. Oh, man, I see something I'm real excited about in that box. <laughs> Oops. Here, you take the bigger part. No, I just that's bite. too big. <clears throat> I just want to bite. It's like... Wow. It's a How really... do they get these flavors? It's a really strong melon flavor. In a cracker. Like, I've... It's like... It's like a shortbread cookie, a really thin shortbread cookie with like a lot of melon flavor. Like it's like I don't know if I'm. Melon. Am I, I like not it. eating a melon? I don't. Or like am it. I eating the cookie? It tastes really artificial to me, though. I'm not a big fan. I know. Okay, this was the bonus snack. It's soba meshi. It's actual dish that combines stir fried noodles and rice. So it's puffed rice and fried noodles. So it's like people eat ramen dry with the flavoring. That's basically yeah. what this is. Oh man, that was good too. <clears throat> I always thought it sounded weird, but it's actually super good. It's very popular. Oh no. What? This looks weird. Oh yeah, that does look weird. Put your hand out. You're not gonna, come on, you gotta try it at least. I it's, it looks like puffed <laughs> rice cereal with like a couple ramen noodles in it. Proportion was not well. What do you think? It tastes like that same soy sauce flavoring, but on puffed rice. Damn. It's not bad. It's just kind of weird. Oh. A little more shrimpy. Oh. You don't like that? Don't, don't, mm. Okay. Don't do them all together. Ooh, wow. What is this? <laughs> what was, ooh, wow. This is Oh called... my god, Japan's <laughs> longest chocolate. <laughs> Japan's number one longest chocolate. My nickname in high school. I don't know. What that's <laughs> Anna, shut what? the hell up. Okay. It's new, apparently. So they took the place of whatever was Japan's number one longest chocolate. Oh my chocolate god! Before. Like, what? I really thought it's a it crispy said... corn puff covered in chocolate and peanuts. Oh, this unique snack. This unique chocolate snack is both yummy and impressive. Oh, wow. A long... Same. Hold on! Name of your sex tape. <laughs> Hold on. No, I'm not even there yet. <laughs> a long, satisfyingly crispy corn puff is covered in delicious milk, chocolate, and peanuts. What kind of sensual bullshit? It's pretty good. I mean, I would imagine it is. You can't get wrong. Right? With Japan's number one longest chocolate. <laughs> right. Mm. You like it? Mm -hmm. She's going to eat this, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's like a J Japanese Snickers, which is her favorite. <laughs> it is. But you know what hurts my feelings? What? I won't ever have this again. Yeah, you will. All right. Last but not least, I think you have to microwave these. Crispy on the outside, but soft in the inside. They're the perfect chocolate chip cookie, but there's more. This pack of 20 is half chocolate stuffed vanilla cookies and half chocolate stuffed chocolate cookies, so they're sure oh. to please all types of cookie fanatics. Oh. I'm very excited about this. Uh. Sounds super good. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. And expect another one in a month, maybe, if Japan Crate ends yes. up on their packaging. Cause yeah, I was about to It's get... the end of March, and we're just now getting the March Crate. I mean, like, I understand it's coming from Japan, so I'm, like, not upset, but... They said yeah. that they were going to get faster on their shipping. But hopefully, if they do, great. If they don't, just depending on how much you guys like this video and the ones to come, you know, like, share, subscribe. Um, we'll keep it going. Bye. Bye.